Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Phil Steppen, and I am back with some more exciting StarCraft II action. Let me introduce the players spawning in the bottom left side of Newkirk Precinct. The guy is so good at cheesing, he makes Combat X himself look like a bitch. It is Seajet Galsy, hailing from Iceland. In the bottom right, we have quite the Zerg player himself, high, highly ranked on the EU server. The fourth place finisher of WCS EU in 2012, it is none other than Lowly, formerly of Team FXO. Now, when we see a probe this early, this means proxy for you newbies out there. So let's go ahead and follow the Galsy probe as it makes its way into Lowly's base, queuing up uh, positional rallies on the very outside corners of his base as to not attract attention from any drone going out to make an expansion, a scouting drone, or an overlord. When you cheese like this, you have to be as sneaky as you possibly can. And if I had to guess, judging by this first pylon being in Lowly's base, I'm thinking 10-10 gate, and here's the first one. Gateway number one coming down for Galsy, and if you're not aware of what 10-10 gate is, basically, make the first pylon in their base, go double, ga double gates on 10 supply, and you throw zealots at them till they die. This is a con not a common, but this is a cheese strategy used in PvP. Not really so much in PvZ, and uh, you don't really ever see it in PvT because, well, Terran is bullshit, and they don't actually lose the cheese because they can just repair. Anyway, some of you Terran players might get a little butt hurt about that one, but come on, all you have to do is go make some more widow mines, and you'll feel fine. Galsy putting another pylon down to power these gateways because obviously if you lose this pylon you're boned. Gateway number one finishing. Chrono immediately going down on the gateway. And I'm going to do some add a BC camera work here. Okay, I'll stop. It's probably making you all nauseated. So once these zealots pop, usually a player will wait for four because. Once you have about four zealots, it's usually too late for them to do anything. If you show the initial two, it's too early to be anything else but 10-10 gate, so then they can immediately par start pumping zerglings. But if you catch them with four, then you can obviously do more damage because you have more zealots and they're caught more off guard. So Lowly has elected to put his hatchery down, which is standard. Luckily, he went pool first. If he went hatch first, this would be auto loss. Galsy's going to go ahead and poach forward th these three zealots, lowly, just now recognizing it, throwing down Mr. Spine. Three zealots running forward, joined by a fourth, including a probe. Lowly, moving his drones around to try to block for the queen and the spine, losing many drones. Queen taking shots. Galsy, running forward with these zealots. Queen, losing health, focusing one zealot. Galsy can't micro it back because he's trapped. Spine goes down as well as a zealot. Galsy pumping more zealots in the production tab. Screaming forward like a banshee. Lowly's going to lose this queen. It's off creep. It should have laid a tumor down. If Galsy kills it, there he does. Brutally with the swift blades of ire. Lowly got one more queen out. Love it. Galsy pressing forward. These lings just get destroyed by this high zealot count. Lowly starting to mine again, but I don't think it's going to matter. Nothing going on in the main except bad things for Lowly. Zealots killing drones. Galsy looks like he's going to win with this brilliant cheese strategy. Looks like these zealots might fall. Drones don't really do any damage. Galsy microing them back. It's close. Positioning himself in the corner. Look how low these zealots are. And Lowly calls good game. Galsy, the Icelandic god of cannon rushing, decides to break out the 10-10 gate taking a page out of Combat X's book, also showcasing some damn good micro. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed that cast, I am uh, I am Phil Steppen, and I cast all kinds of StarCraft 2 games, not just cheesy ZVPs. Uh, Galsy's Twitter will be in the description, so if you want to follow him on Twitter, you can go ahead and do that. My Twitter will be in the description as well, and I'll catch you guys later.